Hello everybody, welcome to a Like a Dragon Asian guide where I'll tell you everything you need to know about how to farm not only money but also XP and a bunch of decent materials to help you on your journey all in one sweep. Whether your end game goal is to max out your styles, get filthy rich, get necessary materials or all of those combined. I don't want to drag this introduction part any longer so let's get right into business. You may find other guides telling you about different methods but the one we'll be showing today has to do with the chicken racing which Surprisingly is going to be our main way to farm money and a lot of it. First, you want to make sure you have a certain amount of money on you. 70 Rio is ideal, but if you have less than that, you could still make it work by just betting less and then using your first profit to buy the rest of the tags needed. A good way to get this money required would be something like doing those dungeon battles which have a set monetary reward after each mission. And you should be doing these anyway because they're a great source of materials and XP by themselves. Anyway, back to chicken racing. Buy as many tags as you can right now. And assuming you have more than enough money, you shouldn't need more than about 8,000 tags to start. As soon as you get the tags, leave the place and save. Make sure you save, this is essential. This is because even when you know what to do, it all comes down to RNG and luck. So if you lose, you want to load the save and go back at it again. After that, go into the actual minigame. I will try to explain this as simply as I can. What we want to do here is go into buy tickets and we bet on one chicken that looks like it will win. And to get an idea about that, look under two tabs in particular, the condition tab and the prediction tab. The higher the condition, the better the odds, and under the prediction tab, the more double circles, the better. There is multiple ways to bet on a race, and it can be super, super overwhelming if you're new to this. But to put it simply, you want to bet on all possible outcomes for the one chicken that seems like it has the best chance to win. You can bet on the two best looking chickens if you want to have a higher chance and you'd still come out with a good profit even if it's a little less for example right now in this footage the best looking chicken based on the condition and the prediction symbols is number one foul temper so the way to bet on all possible outcomes is done by the following when you enter the minigame you go to buy tickets and then what is called dividend list. Here you will have multiple menus that you can switch between with L1, R1 on PlayStation or LB and RB on Xbox. The one that matters the most is the last category where you can earn the most profit. So focus on this one if you're low on tags at first, but once you have at least 8,000 tags, you want to bet on every possible outcome for that chicken in all of the different menus. Once you're done making the bet, go to finish buying and then start the race and pray your chicken wins. If it does, congratulations! Now you're more than likely set to get the ideal amount of profit that can be obtained in one go. Now let's say you farmed a shit ton of tags and you're ready to turn that into money. Leave the chicken racing place and go to a place nearby simply called the gambling den. You'll find an exchange section there and you want to buy as many platinum plates as you can. Once you have those, walk on nearby to Ibisu Pond where you can sell those plates for a crap ton of money. Now notice one thing, when you sell all those platinum plates you get something called virtue this is important because this ties into the xp and material farming something you want to get as soon as you can are the virtue cultivation and shinto priests exchange upgrades from the shrine the priest exchange will allow you to access his shop that sells some decent materials and the cultivation upgrades allow you to gain more virtue whenever you sell platinum plates i advise you to focus on the virtue cultivation upgrades first max those out and then max out the priest shop to get the best stuff that he has. He has food items called daifuku and they come in colors. These give you XP corresponding to the color of your fighting styles. Blue is for swordsman, red is for brawler, yellow is for gunman, green is for wild dancer and finally gray is for your overall level which gets you training orbs that you're able to use on all styles of course he doesn't have all the materials that you're gonna need but he still has some very important ones and it'll help when you want them asap rather than having to spend a lot of time grinding for them elsewhere and that's about it once you understand the process you'll see just how simple and effective it all is i hope this helps you enjoy like a dragon ishin more and i hope you found this guide useful if you did consider liking liking and subscribing for more Yakuza slash Like a Dragon content. It would help me out a lot and I would really appreciate it. I'd also like to give a special thanks to all my Hania tier members for going the extra mile to support the channel, as well as a thanks to all Dragon tier members. I'm grateful for any and all support that I get from you all, and as always I just want to take the chance to say thank you guys. That being said, hope you enjoy playing the game, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye bye